I'm going to show you how you can easily import your uh, Manga Studio 4 brushes and settings into Manga Studio 5 because uh, it's not real clear um, at the beginning. It actually took me a little while to figure that out. Uh, so Manga Studio 5 was a huge improvement in my opinion from Manga Studio 4 on things like the interface and coloring. Um, but one thing that I thought it almost took a step backward in were some of the brushes uh, that it came with. Um, but I found out all you got to do, you come up here, not in the brush, med uh, brush menu, but right here, click on here and just say migrate tool preferences from Mong Studio 4. And I should say, this only works, of course, if you previously had Manga Studio 4 and you still have those settings on your computer. Um, I've already imported them, so I don't need to do any of this, but here's where they come from. Here's, okay, that's where Manga Studio 4 is located. But check out all the stuff you can import. You can import any of the pens, the pencils, the fills, um, the magic wand settings, the gradient settings, all this other stuff. Um, so let's say let's say I wanted to import the pens and say okay and I'm not going to do it because I've already done it now what we've got here um, are the Mong Studio 4 brushes now they don't feel exactly the same um, but they're very close like this is the fat or the Maru brush I call the fat Maru brush because it it's a bigger variant of it. This thing was, was my favorite brush in Manga Studio 4. And there wasn't really anything quite like it in um, Manga Studio 5. So it's pretty cool to be able to have that back. Uh, there were some other ones. I really like the Manga Studio 4 pencils. Uh, there's just something about just how it, how it registered the pressure. It's just very cool. Uh, anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.